Okay, this is a lame idea for filming an intro. It's not totally original. You know what I'll tell you what this uh, view could be is really about. Like this video is about uh, compatibility issues that you can run into if you're if say if you ever had a uh, if he was hooking up a cable television receiver, like this digital set top boxes. Not all cable system head ends are uh, compatible. Like a cable system that uh, like figure. A box like this here. See that model number there? Like this is a high definition set top box. But it would not be compatible for cable systems. That probably that probably have the heads configured. They're more configured to say Towards uh, these systems here, like this, this this box here, Scientific Atlanta, like Explorer, forty two fifty HTC. You can run into compatibility issues if you're uh, moving from one Comcast uh, system uh, to another. You know where I live; it's like all served by the cable providers, pretty much served by Comcast. Like this, is this video would actually explain some details about, like if you're hooking a cable receiver in your house. <laughs> we could just remember: do not try to buy receivers off of eBay. Like cable receivers, like uh, this here. Would not be compatible with all uh, Comcast cable systems, like say the head ends. Like th like those could mostly say apply to say for sure, like there's a, uh, like there's a uh, systems that were probably that Comcast had probably gained control of when they uh, bought a Del when they bought part of a Delphi out, and not all of it. Like it complicated itself back in '06. Of Adelphia, which is just basically a sound breakup, a sound split. They say Time Arcade we got the bit guy probably got the bigger end of that deal. Like with Comcast, they probably got to deal with uh, was probably say systems uh in still located states where they have much bigger presence already. <coughs> Even sometime where cable systems uh, whenever to co ended up uh, being taken out by Comcast. Like even where I live, part just gave Comcast a much bigger presence, say to the point of say to buy the monopoly. So like uh, this particular box here has got like one of those, uh, like say multi-stream cards. That's probably manufactured by Motorola. Let's see the logo on this. Right, the cable system head that serves my area. This will not be compatible with that. I know it's issued by Comcast. The cable system head was probably more configured to probably more uh, probably more configured to say scientific and land manufactured products, and say those manufactured uh, by Cisco. Bought the bottom out and uh, took over Scientific Atlanta. Yeah, especially living at Comcast system that's probably used to be part of Adelphia. You look this particular model box up, it probably won't find the frequencies that's in the software. Like that can like that's not not, not an error. This will work in say Comcast system say elsewhere in the region like those that Comcast had already taken over. 
like say those in uh like those in part in other areas like in say South Park Township for example or Pleasant Hills or Baldwin. But this is still this is still Comcast property. And I'm sure by the time you see this video, this will already already been this will already, I'm sure Comcast will have gotten this back. They will have gotten this back by the time you see this video. <laughs> well, you gotta show respect for the cable provider. If you run with compatibility issue, if say if you look up a box and it doesn't find the frequency you need to activate, it can always be a problem with the cable heading. Standardization on one product is a good is a good is a good solution. But like the former Delphi systems that Comcast took over, the infrastructures had to be uh, had to be had to be uh, made to, had to make changes to it for it to work. Can't blame Comcast for it. Compatibility issues can always have it can happen with any cable provider. Be like taking a scientific lamp box and then hooking up to a system that's a the cable that a system was a cable head and say the say the the connection originating for a head it's more configured towards uh boxes like these or the, even the Motorola brand boxes. That can happen too. I figure you know what type of uh. If you have neighbors, see what cable. If they have if they have cable or cell like digital HD, see what type of, type of receivers they use. And if they use Motorola brand boxes, I mean the cable provider should know too for sure. And if you have and if you and if you, and if you have say an incompatible box. That was issued by the cable provider. Take it to the respective billing office. The respective billing office will probably, will probably cover it anyway. Like for me to hook up a cable, like say a receiver where I live, like say in my, say in my house, like in this house, like for me to do that. They'd have to probably drive to say to respect the billing office. Like say to respect the billing office that services my region. Like say where I live. Like the neighbor I live in is like is like over in Bethel Park. And it's been like that even before, even for the Adelphi days, but now it's now with Comcast, pretty much haven't taken over the whole area. I could probably now put say the bill could be paid say in our billing office. Like say over in Baldwin, like we're in other billing offices. Like sure Comcast has a billing office there. And the two HD boxes in uh, my house came from in this house. Like I got here. You know what? I looked at my television. It's probably hooked up. It was uh, coming from one of his billing off. But it's compatible anyway. Well, at least the billing office was probably at least they know compatible. At least uh, whatever issued them out. Oh, well, the exception of say, and I, and what to say, desired plasma TV in this house. I live in. Sure, the plasma, t sure that plasma TV, the box for that, hooked to that. Had to be installed by a technician. And that's like when they installed the. That's when they ended up uh, installing the booster to uh, fix the signal for all, fix the uh, signal issues. Like reception issues, to be honest. Well, let's hope this explains a lot of details. If you want any more explanation, I can give you an address. I can say you can always uh, make a comment about it, but be, but make a nice comment. Make do a nasty comment. You never know what, what repercussions you'll face if you post any uh, unsuitable comments on any of my video, anything I post up. Well, that's it for this video.